Hello friends, welcome to the channel once again. In this video, we are going to solve assignment 11 of non-conventional energy resources course. The last date of submission of assignment 11 is 17th of April 2019. So without taking much time, we are moving towards the first question. Fuel cells are energy storage devices. The answer is false. We all know that Fuel cells are energy convert converting devices, not energy storage devices. But somewhere it is written that fuel cells are energy storing devices. But I am providing you the proof from the lecture transcript of our course. So here you can see clearly in the third line it is written. But let's say it is an energy convers conversion device like a fuel cell. So our answer is false. Now taking the second question. An SOFC operates at approx approximately 70 degrees Celsius. This is absolutely false. You can see the proof from this picture. In the last, it is written solid oxide fuel cell that is SOFC and temperature is nearly 1000 degrees Celsius. So our answer is false. Now taking the third question. PEFCs use gases as reactants. It is absolutely true. You can see the proof from the first line. Really the main difference is in the fact that the reactants that are being used here are either gases or liquids whereas in a typical battery they are solids. So in these type of fuel cells the reactants are basically gases that is hydrogen and oxygen. So our answer is true. Sorry the answer for the third question is true. Now taking the fourth question. Partial oxidation used for reforming fuels is an exothermic process is it is absolutely true you can see the proof from this picture you are actually doing some amount of com combustion and therefore you have a strongly exothermic reaction so our answer for the fourth question is true now moving towards the fifth question flow fields are necessary to distribute reactants across the active area of fuel cells it is also true you can see the proof from this picture in fuel cells the flow field plates are designed to provide an adequate amount of reactants to the gas diffusion layer and catalyst surface while minimizing pressure drop so it is clear so the answer for the fifth question is true now taking the sixth question under constant current mode of operation the degradation of a fuel cell may be expressed in milliampere per hour it is absolutely false you can see the proof from the following picture. From the first line it is written that degradation rate millivolts per hour. Degradation rate is something that people try to achieve. Actively keep track of, for, of many electrochemical devices. So uh, they are measured in millivolts per hour not in milliamperes per hour. So the answer is false. Now taking the common text for 7th and 8th question. Two fuel cells each operating at 0.6 volt 0.5 ampere per centimeter square are connected in series. The area of each of the cell is 30 centimeter square. So the seventh question is the voltage of the stack is. For this question the answer is 1.2 volt. You can see the proof from this picture it is written uh, voltage for a stack equal to voltage of cell into number of cell. So we have voltage of cell 0.6 volt and we have two, two fuel cells. So multiplying 2 into 0.6 we get 1.2 volt. So the correct answer is 1.2 volt. Now taking the 8th question the power from the stack is. Here the answer is 18 watt. Now we have to see the proof. From this picture we can see that uh, power equal to we vol voltage of stack into current we have voltage of stack from the previous question that is 1.2 volt now we have to find the current so for current we have current density and we have area so after multiplying current density into area we get the current that is 0.5 into 30 equal to 15 ampere so the current is 15 ampere and stack voltage is 1.2 volt so power equal to 1.2 into 15 that is 18 watt now taking the text for the ninth question if the operate uh, the theoretical voltage of a fuel cell is 1.23 volt if the operating point of the fuel cell is 0.6 volt the over potential losses are 
here the correct answer is 2.05 volt for the proof we can see that for an electrolytic cell this is the ratio of a cell's thermodynamic potential divided by the cell's experimental potential converted to a percentile so from here we can calculate 1.23 upon 0.6 that is 2.05 volt so the correct answer for the ninth question is 2.05 volt now taking the 10th ten question if the impedance ohmic due to membrane and contact resistance of the cell is 0.01 ohm and the current in the cell is 15 ampere the polarization losses due to reasons other than ohmic r for the answer of this question you have to bait because the answer is delayed for some unforeseen circumstances you can see the answer later on in the comment box so keep visiting the page before the last date of submission of assignment i'll submit the answer of this question in the form of comment so please keep tracking so this was all regarding the assignment 11 of the nptel ncr course thanks for watching thanks for spending your time and only one assignment is remaining so be prepared for the examination which is being held on 27th of which is being held on 2nd june 2019 best best wishes from my side thank you thank you very much